Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to thank you for clicking this video. Um, you know what I'm saying? You could have been anywhere right now, but you decided to join me. So I just want to show my appreciation. I'm going to try my very best to cover everything about these two phones. And, you know, I'm not sure how long this video is going to last, but I just want to give you as much detail as I possibly can. I'll try to articulate my words um, so that you understand everything I'm saying. But today we're going to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy A12 and the Samsung Galaxy Zero 2S. So um, thank you for joining me once more and let's begin the comparison. Now we do have two budget phones with like a $50 difference. Um, and they're both going to be really nice when it comes to these boxes that they come in. Um, we have a 6.5 inch display on the both of these devices. They both come with your wall brick charger and headphones. So this is what comes inside of the Samsung Galaxy box. Really small, minimal boxes. I really do like how they did that. Um, we got a quad camera set up with a 48 meg megapixel on the A12. Um, but when we look at the box in the A02s, these are both North American models, so they do, both do have 4G LTE in the US. And um, my SIM card from Mint Mobile is inside of both of them. So um, I just wanted to show you what comes inside of the box for each phone, guys. Okay, so now we have both phones right here, guys. Let's just take a look at them. Um, you have a smooth um, textured finish, which is dual textured on the Samsung Galaxy A12. Um, they both have 6.5 inches displays, but the build quality of both of them is going to be pretty much a plastic frame on both of these guys. We do also have a textured um, finish on here, and it's it's actually different from this. So it's just really cool how they did this. Um, really good designs on both of these devices. We'll get into the cameras in a little bit more detail, but um almost the exact same size when it comes to the feel in the hand you can see the flash is inside the camera module on the samsung galaxy a02s and on the samsung galaxy a12 we do have a flash right below the camera setup now taking a look at the top of the devices we have our noise cancellation mics on the bottom we have type c headphone jack uh, microphone and speaker on the other side of both of these devices we have sim ejector uh, slots which actually is pretty cool so you can actually expand the storage on these guys um i haven't tried putting a sim card in here because they both have 64 gigabytes and 4 gigabytes of ram and you can see the button placement is uh identical now this is the difference there is no fingerprint sensor on the samsung galaxy a02s but when it comes to the facial recognition it's really quick i have glasses on um, what I did notice is that if I put a hat on and glasses, that's when it wouldn't recognize my face. Uh, there's one um, disconnect right there, but it, it's pretty much 99.9% .9 accurate if you're not wearing a hat or something like that. But this fingerprint sensor on the Samsung Galaxy A12 is right here on the side of it, and the A02s doesn't have that. So I just want to let you guys know that this fingerprint sensor is really nice. It's pretty snappy. Also, if I was to just touch it with the wrong finger, um, it does have biometric for facial recognition. However, let me take off my glasses because I don't think I registered it with glasses. Let me see if it'll unlock. It says no match. One more time. So yeah, I probably have to do that one more time and like set it up, but you definitely can re-register the biometrics for the face ID on here. Now, when it comes to the weight of both of these devices, the A12 is slightly heavier at 205 grams, and the Samsung Galaxy A02s is actually 196 grams of weight. Now, I will do a dedicated comparison of a video with the cameras. If you guys are interested, in a few days, I'll have that up. But um, I just really like the um, camera modules. They're very nice. They look really updated. And I like the fact that I don't have to use one of these cloths on these phones at all, except to clean the cameras. Um, everything on here is like a matte finish. It's really nice and it feels good to the touch. So you don't have to worry about like smudges and stuff like that. So 
like I said before, we are getting dual SIM card slots. Well, I didn't say that yet, but we do have dual SIM card slots with SD card on both of these devices. I typically use the fingerprint for this all the time and face ID for this one, but I have to re-register my face ID on this one. So when it comes to the displays on both of these devices, they're, they um, are pretty similar. We're getting an IPS display on both of these things. And I think they're the exact same PLS IPS displays that they used, which have um, weird viewing angles. It's not the best viewing angles in the entire world. Um, when you shift it, it can get a little dim on both of these things. So I just want to crank them up to full brightness so you can see what I'm talking about. But we do have dark mode on board um, as well. You can swipe down from the top and get your app trays on both of these things. So this, the displays are exactly the same. They're like 720 by 1600. They look really nice. And um, one of these devices does have a different chipset than the other one. They have, um, one has a MediaTek processor and the other one has a, um, a Snapdragon 450. So the, the, the Snapdragon 450 is on the A02S and the MediaTek um, Helio P35 is on the A12. So <clears throat> just make note of that. We do got notches on the top with camera modules one has an 8 megapixel and one has a 5 megapixel there so just keep that in mind we do have android 10 with um the like um i think it's 2.5 one ui on here on both of these devices and um they both are really look, looking really good when it comes to the displays however they do get dim when you um tilt the display and at an angle or something like that but um <clears throat> They both are fast and responsive. Let, you can see I have LTE on this one. Let me just turn off the Wi-Fi on this one. And this one also does have LTE on it as well. So just really um, cool that, that, that they do put LTE, 4G LTE on both devices. So I was able to use my Mint Mobile SIM card with both of these things. Now, when it comes to the um, storage, we're getting the same thing, 64, 64, and then four gigabytes of RAM and four gigabytes of RAM. Now these are both the North American models and the way you can tell that is that it's gonna be the A025M model for the red one, this A02S, and that the model number ends with an M. So that's the, how you know it's the American model. And um, you know, they're, they're global, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you could use these on T-Mobile network and things of that nature for and Mint Mobile. So like I said before, that's pretty cool. So, you know, um, what else did I miss so far? So really solid displays, like they're not gonna be the best in the entire world, but they're definitely suitable. So let me just show you what it looks like when you browse um, certain content on these devices. They're not sluggish whatsoever. Now, when you first set them up, you will experience uh, a little bit of slowdown on here, but nothing too crazy. You know what I'm talking about? So, you know, I really do like the displays on both of these devices um, and they just look really good. So they're not they're not going to be like groundbreaking or jaw dropping or anything of that nature. But you can see right here, they pretty much look uh, really, really close when it comes to the color ranges. Um, there's not much difference when it comes to the display, so just keep that in mind. So, um, as far as the pixels per inch, we are getting 270 on the A12. And as far as the pixels per inch, we also are getting 270 on the A02S. So, like I said, um, they use the same displays, but they just change the chipsets on here. So, just keep that in mind. You can see the colors do look pretty vibrant when they're not tilted at an angle. So, that's really cool. Um, you know, you know, so I really do uh, enjoy using both of these devices for everything because they they um, they don't they don't um, lag at all. So when you're using it, I noticed that when I was using these devices, I didn't have any issues with with speed or, you know, lag or anything of that nature. So next thing I want to talk about is the processing chips on these guys. Um, so. Let's jump into that in a little bit more detail. Now, performance on both of these devices is pretty similar. You won't really notice a difference 
between the two when I was using them. They didn't lag. E neither one of them lagged when I was gaming on them. And um, this this game is actually a high graphics intensive game, so you will notice a little bit of um, it'll it'll start to hiccup, but it won't like affect your gameplay or anything of that nature. So. Um, you wouldn't have to worry about like um, not being able to game on these things They definitely will provide you a decent performance as well. So, you know, like I said, um, I was able to game on the A12 right here with the 48 megapixel I'll make a dedicated camera test, but we'll talk about the cameras in a little bit but as you can see there there, there were a little bit of headache not headaches, but um, this game usually does um, play really smooth on most devices and this one it performs really smooth as well. There were barely any slowdowns that I could see on the screen so I was really impressed with that. Um, so just to say the least that 4 gigabytes of RAM on this A12 was really nice. Um, it, like I said it had the P35 on here with um, it's a 12 nanometer. Uh, actually, it's a, yeah, it's 12 nanometer processing speeds, processing chip. So you will get some decent performance when you're using it. And, um, you know, I didn't experience any diff things that I noticed that were bad on here. So let, I really do like this device when it comes to like the overall graphics of this device. Now, one thing to note on both of these devices is that they, do, they are both missing the five gigahertz Wi-Fi. However, you will be able to use um the 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 you know the regular 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi so just keep that in mind guys but like i said i didn't have any issues when it came to gaming on this thing i had the power vr ge8320 for the the gpu so it wasn't it wasn't bad at all when it came to this now this is the a02s and this one has the snapdragon 450 which is a 14 um nanometer processing chip so it's gonna be you know not as powerful as the um one we're getting with the helio p35 because it's a 12 nanometer versus a 14 nanometer but i still was able to you know play pretty decent on here so just to say the least i had a really um enjoyable experience when i was gaming on here so um like i said they do both have really good speeds we got the adreno 506 on this device as well and um it's definitely going to be really good for performance so i didn't notice any like slowdowns or you know headaches or freezes or belly aches when i was using it so i definitely can say i had a good user experience when i was using this thing nothing that would um make me not want to get this device really solid performance in in the entry level budget price point now i did cover the speaker by accident right there but i was able to uncover it with my finger and still get you know ideal performance out of it so like i said this thing does game really well and um as you can see it's really smooth so i didn't have any issues with this thing when it came to gaming guys with the adreno 506 and the um the processor that it's offering so like i said really good gaming performance on this guy and when it came to the speakers and overall sound of these devices we are getting the um you know what i'm talking about we are getting bluetooth 5.0 on the a12 and bluetooth 4.2 on the a02s but what i did notice is that when i was listening to music that this um a12 had a little bit more bass in the speaker like slightly more bass but they both sounded really good. So let me just play a sample um, for you guys. Okay, so that's the A12. Now let's listen to the A02S guys. Well, actually they both sound really good I, I could hear the bass on both of them so you guys let me know which one sounded um better in your your opinion and everything like that but um wait did i just pin lock this thing hold on 
Now they both they both have 5,000 milliamp hour batteries, so that's really good. It, it says that you're gonna get about 114 hours of battery on the A02S and about oh, 123 on the A12. So because of the processing chip on the A12, it might give you better endurance when it comes to the battery, but you know, um, they're pretty good. They're going to be pretty similar and everything like that, but they both charge at 15 Watts fast charging as well, which is cool. And they both have type C charging as well. So you can get them in a variety of colors, black, white, red, and blue for both of these models. So I just think that's pretty cool. But the, one of the main things that's different about these devices is the 48 megapixel camera that we're actually getting on the A12. And we also have a 13 megapixel um so we get a, an 8 a 48 megapixel an 8 megapixel ultra wide which is actually like a um telephoto actually they they say on gsm arena that it's an ultra wide but it's more of like a telephoto a depth sensor and a, and a macro camera on this guy and then on the a02s we get 13 megapixels 2 megapixels for macro and 2 megapixels for depth so make sure you guys stay locked in because I'm going to do a comparison of both of these phones. But um, this is pretty much what I wanted to cover in this comparison, guys. But let me know which one of these devices would interest you more. I, I definitely think they're both um, going to be pretty cool. Uh, they have the exact same displays, same batteries, um, different processing chips and similar speed and performance. So when I was using them, you know what I'm talking about? Some of the performance was very um, comparable. So, um, you know what I mean? Everything just looks really nice on here. I can't complain um, whatsoever. So once sometimes the A02S opens up quicker and then sometimes the A12 opens up apps quicker. So it just all depends sometimes. As you can see, look, this one opened up quicker that time. So, you know, this doesn't really, the speed test isn't, and then this one opened quicker this time. So they just go back and forth. The performance is pretty um, similar. But thank you guys for staying locked in with me. I appreciate you guys 100%. I appreciate the time that you spent with me. And um, make sure you guys have a great, um, you know, rest of your day. But um, I'll get right back with you later, groupie.